Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at U-Trailer, and today we're going to be taking a look at how the Inno Tire Hold HD bike rack fits the 2023 Kia Seltos. Right off of the bat, the Inno Tire Hold HD is what you'd be looking at if you want something that has a super high weight capacity for heavy electric bikes, but also has that dual wheel mount style to make it much easier to carry those bikes. The downside for how this fits on the car though is it doesn't tilt down far enough to open up the hatch if you have mountain bikes. So that is something to be mindful and we'll talk about in this video. But the perks are is that it sits low enough to the ground to make it a lot easier to load and unload those bikes. So first, let's take a look at that tilt. You pull that handle at the end of the rack, tilt the rack down. The rack doesn't tilt that far down. So you can see here that the handlebars of my bike make contact with our hatch door. So you still have enough space to grab whatever you need. The downside is if you have a mountain bike, probably won't have enough space. If you have a road bike, that might not be an issue for you. Lift the rack up and now you're ready to drive. This can carry bikes of up to 80 pounds, which is very impressive for a bike rack. Once you start getting into those electric bikes with all the batteries and the add-ons and accessories, those things get very heavy. Fortunately, this has zero frame contact. This secures the bike by the front and the rear wheels, meaning you have all that space for all those accessories. When you want to take the bike off, what I do is I press the buttons first on these mounts, and then I can push these out. If you want to use the ramp, you can also remove these mounts here. See how that has an anchor holding that into place? That can push that wheel mount all the way down if you choose to. That will make it easier to ramp your bike up and onto the rack. Otherwise, it's a lift and drop. So depending on the weight of your bikes, that may or may not be an option for you. Let's talk about our bike rack trays here. Well, I put the bike off to the side. Notice the grooves on the trays. That's there for different tire widths. So if you have a thin road bike tire or a wide fat bike tire, this can carry tire widths of up to three and a half inches wide. Now, if you have fat bike tires wider than that, the issue you're gonna run into is that these cradles won't be able to secure the tires. So that's something to be mindful of. Something really cool though with these cradles is that you can adjust them up and down for different tire sizes or wheel sizes. The maximum being up to 29 inches. Just line them up in the grooves, put them in, pull it up, and you're good to go. I like to just fold these down so that they're nice and neat. Let's talk about how much space this takes up behind your car. Measuring from the end of the vehicle, which is the bumper, to the end of the rack, that's 33 inches. Your Seltos is already a smaller car, so you do have more space to work with if you need to back into your garage or fit into a tight parking spot. Another measurement is gonna be ground clearance. So a lot of people like to look at the end of the rack to the ground, in our case, 14 inches. Compare that to the shank to the ground, which is eight and a half inches. I'm not as concerned about bottoming out at inclines. What I think about more often is how high do I have to lift my heavy electric bike? In our case, 18 and a half inches, which is pretty low, meaning it's a bit easier to get those heavier bikes up. You're able to get that front wheel up and then just pivot that rear wheel onto the rack as you roll it down the tray. But if needed, you can pick up the add-on accessory, which is the Inno ramp. And this is something you can attach to the end of your rack in order to more easily ramp those heavier bikes up. I don't think it is as necessary with the Seltos, but that is up to you. You can find that here at each trailer. When you pull on that handle, you can then push it up into two different positions. Compact position, other compact position. On the Seltos, this is what I would recommend for if you need easy access to your hatch. If you wanna take up less space behind your car as you drive, this is what I would recommend. So, 
taking a measurement from the bumper to the end of the rack, that now sits at 15 inches. Big difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll see people driving down the highway with it looking like this as they drive around town. Now, what is it like living with a bike rack behind you though? Notice here how our rear window is visible. Our taillights are visible. This does kind of cover your license plate though. And your backup camera sits above the rack, but right where that handle is. So what is gonna happen is that you will lose a little bit of your view through the rear view camera, but you'll still be able to mainly see if there's any people or vehicles behind you. Now, if that is still gonna be a concern for you, you can just drive around with it in the down position. Fortunately, it's very easy to adjust with that handle. This fits into your two inch hitch receiver of your Seltos. If you do not already have a hitch, you can find one here at eTrailer.com. This has two ways of tightening down. You first have an anti-rattle bolt up by the hitch, and then you have this anti-rattle knob, which also locks. And this is where you put your cable lock for your bikes. Although I personally use my own cable lock just because fitting that lock into that knob is a little bit of a hassle sometimes. But that's also something you can check out in my full review video of this bike rack here on our website. Focusing on how it works with the Seltos though, I like the weight capacity of 80 pounds. I like the dual wheel mount design. I'm not the biggest fan though of how much it did not tilt away. So I couldn't get full access to my hatch with the bikes on. So an alternative to that is I did try the Kuat NV on the Seltos and that did have good clearance. The downside to the NV though is it doesn't have the same weight capacity that this bike rack has. So you can just check back and forth depending on your bikes and then decide which one is the best fit for you. But for a solid, great weight capacity, very easy to use bike rack, this is a look at the Inno Tire Hold HD and you saw it on the 2023 Kia Seltos.